Hi, I'm Angela Duckworth. I'm founder and CEO of Character Lab, a nonprofit that advances the science and practice of character development. Hi, uh, I'm Katie Milkman, and I am uh, an associate professor at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, and I study the behavioral economics of behavior change. Together, Katie and I are running a project called Behavior Change for Good. The idea is that in two ways, behavior change can be something that we want to be for good. One is we want it to be permanent. We want people to do things like go to the gym or study if you're a student or save a little money uh, every week for retirement. We want these things to actually endure as opposed to being things that you do for a while and then you stop doing. And the other reason why we like to call our project Behavior Change for Good is that it is for good. It's for your own good. Uh, we want people to act in their own best interests, and it's for everyone else's good. Uh, very often, these behaviors actually have positive effects on other people. We are doing studies with kids, and as a former teacher, that's where my heart is. Uh, we have a big study that we ran in January where we tried to get kids to study more in school, high school students, and tried to raise their third marking period grades. So we had over a dozen different activities that kids were randomly assigned to, and the data will tell which activity helped kids increase their studying and their academic performance the most. Uh, another big effort of our initiative is, is focusing on health, and so we are running to our knowledge, the largest random assignment study ever done on uh, gym attendance, and maybe one of the largest randomized controlled trials ever. So it'll have about 200,000 people in it. It has 57 different treatment arms, uh, 20 different sub-studies, and we're doing it in partnership with 24-Hour Fitness, all with the goal of figuring out what kinds of interventions can we build that will create enduring behavior change. And in this case, we're looking for enduring exercise habits. So we intervene with people over a 28-day period. Uh, they register for our program. They get um, different intervention components to try to help them build a gym habit over that month and then we uh, wrap up the program and watch to see whether or not we've had an enduring impact so we'll watch their behavior for um, at least a year afterwards to see if they keep going to the gym and how frequently. I think the future of behavioral science is bright and I think the future is interdisciplinary. In our team we have psychologists like me, we have behavioral economists, we have uh, you know, labor economists, you know, more neoclassically trained economists. We have neuroscientists, we have medical physicians, sociologists. I think the idea is that people have a tradition that has certain advantages, but also there are blind spots for every tradition. And we're hoping by creating an interdisciplinary team, we'll make progress at a rate that is faster than what would have been possible alone.